Are you disappointed with your current Warlock build? Are you looking for a new build that'll help you absolutely thrive in the Crucible? If you answered yes to either of these questions, then I have the perfect Solar Warlock build for you. This build will help you absolutely stomp enemies when it comes to PvP. Before we get into the video, I would like to introduce myself for all those who don't know me already. My name is Epoxy, and I'd like to welcome you guys to another Destiny 2 build video. And if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future. Thank you and enjoy. So with that being said, let's get right into the build. So if we take a look at my inventory, go over to my subclass. So to start this off, I'm actually going to start with my aspects because after I talk about what they do, it's going to make more sense about what my other abilities are for. So starting with my first aspect, we see I'm using Icarus Dash which is very helpful, especially since it's only accessible on the solar subclasses. Basically, while you're in the air, you can dash right, left, backwards, and even forwards. And it's just a very good way to maneuver around, especially in PvP situations. If you want to either dodge snipers, dodge around a corner, get into the fight quicker. Overall, Icarus Dash is just a very important aspect to have in your solar subclass, especially since it gives you access to a crazy dodge, which makes you very hard to shoot, and just makes you extremely mobile in air, which is really important for Warlocks because their jump is obviously a glide in air. So it just helps a lot to be able to get that extra movement that makes you hard to shoot. And it's honestly very useful just because of the fact that it can help increase your survivability in a lot of different pvp situations and another important thing is while heat rises is active you gain an additional dodge and if you don't know what heat rises is moving over here we have heat rises which if you don't know what this does you can fire weapons melee attack and throw grenades while gliding in the air which is extremely helpful and while heat rises is active you just float in the air allowing you to snipe targets shoot targets be able to run away from targets and turn around and also shoot back at them it's just a very fun aspect to use you'll see it later in my gameplay it's very useful in a lot of situations so yeah these two together just work amazingly let's move on to my grenade the grenade i choose is solar grenade which if you don't know it's a grenade that creates a flare of solar light that continuously damages and scorches targets trapped inside these are always my favorite types of grenades to put on my subclasses this one is really good because it applies scorch and scorch is a very important part of this build let me move over to my solar melee we have celestial fire which sends out a spiral of three explosive solar energy blasts scorching targets with each hit so as you see we have two possible scorching things going on with this build which is huge so for the glide I choose Burst Glide, it's up to you guys, but this one's always good because it's like a strong initial boost of speed. The other ones such as Balance Glide, which is like more of a middle, more of directional and moderate speed. And then we have Strafe Jump, which is a strong directional control. But Burst Glide is what fits my play style more, so this is always the one I run with Warlock. So I feel like when you pair with Icarus Dash, it just works really good together. And then moving on to my class ability, I choose Phoenix Dive. Uh, you can either use Phoenix Dive, Healing Rift, or Empowering Rift. Kind of depends what you're running. Uh, healing Rift's always good if you play more back and you want to heal your teammates, or Empowering Rift if you want to do more damage because you also play more passively. But Phoenix Dive is great because when Heat Rises is active, when you land with your Phoenix Dive, you get a boost of health and you also scorch targets if they happen to be within the radius, which is very good. And it also cures allies, which basically removes all debuffs, which can be great in many PvP situations. So Phoenix Dive, I've been using recently and it's very fun to use. It honestly helps a lot. Now we're gonna take a look at my fragments. Uh, we see we have Ember of Beams, which basically your solar super projectiles have stronger target acquisition. This is great for Dawnblade because because sometimes Dawn Blades projectiles can be kind of hard to control and basically this just makes them have a lot more accuracy which is super important especially if you're not the best at aiming them. My favorite thing about this build is you can just switch out if you don't like Daybreak, you can switch it out with Well of Radiance. And basically, all you'd have to change for the build is go to your Ember of Beams and switch it out for and change it out with Ember of Singeing, which honestly, I prefer this over Dawn Blade to be honest. Because if you read here, Ember of Singeing, your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. Which if you remember before, the Grenade, Celestial Fire, and your class ability have the chance to scorch targets. Which means that you'll get your class ability back faster and faster, which is great because this Phoenix Dive is really good, especially since you can heal yourself and help your teammates out in the process. The next fragment on the list is Ember Eruption, which if you read here, it says your solar ignitions have increased area effect, which is very nice because of things like 
Celestial Fire and Solar Grenade. They will also have an increased area of damage they do to targets, which is very nice, especially if you don't aim it properly. It kind of helps you have a better chance of hitting your target, which is always nice. Then the third fragment on the list is Ember of Torches, which basically just means your powered melee attacks against combatants make you and your nearby allies radiant, which is nice because your powered melee attack is your Celestial Fire. And your Celestial Fire is honestly very easy to hit, so every time you hit a target, your, your teammates will become radiant, which is very nice. And the fourth thing I use is Ember of Solace. If you read here, it says radiant and restoration effects applied to you have increased duration, which is great because if you get Ember of Torches to proc, it'll last a lot longer. And you also have a long restoration effect when you do your Phoenix Dive. So overall, all these work together greatly. And it's why I like this build so much, just because of how well it all works together. And it's all really fun to use also. Starting with my helmet, you can see here, I'm running powerful friends with solar targeting and kinetic targeting. Obviously with the solar targeting, you can change it out with whatever your secondary weapon is, either stasis, strand, void, and arc, obviously, whichever arc type you switch out for that. And those are run good together. And for the exotic for this build, you want to run sun bracers. So as I said before, I run a solar grenade. So solar grenades burn longer and melee kills restore them, which is huge because if you get a kill with your celestial fire or even just your punch, you get your grenade back. And solar grenades are amazing with this build. So moving on to the mods, we're using fastball, which increases grenade throw distance. We have heavy handed. So anytime you get a kill with your celestial fire, it will create an orb of power for you and your teammates. And then we have momentum transfer, which causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown, which helps a lot. So you can get another one out as soon as possible. And then moving on to my chest piece, we're running sniper resistance because I feel like I get sniped a lot and a lot of people use them, especially this season and last season. There's been a lot of people sniping. And we have unflinching harmonic aim, which obviously you would change out with whatever type of weapon you're aiming. I use solar, so I use unflinching harmonic, but you change it out with whatever kind of weapon type you're using so that the flinch is reduced for the weapon type they're using. And then we have harmonic resistance, which just and reduces incoming solar damage from combatants. I just choose this because I only had one extra point and I wanted to put into something. Obviously, you won't always know when solar damage is coming, but I just wanted to pick this one so I didn't have an empty slot. And then going back to my legs, you see that I have recuperation, which replenishes health each time you pick up an orb of power, which is great, especially if you get your other things to drop orbs of power or your teammate shop orbs of power. So you get your health back because you can never complain about too much health replenishment. Then we have Absolution, which reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an orb of power. And then lastly, we have Innervation, which reduces grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power. So there's basically overall a bunch of overpower things that work together for your legs that work together to help your build entirely. And then lastly, we have my bonds which I just put Outreach, which just reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability. So anytime you use Phoenix Dive, your melee cooldown will be reduced. And then we have Bomber, which reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability. So again, just another cooldown thing. And then we have Reaper, which after using your class ability, your next weapon final blow spawns an Orb of Power, which is nice because anytime you use your Phoenix Dive and you get a kill, you get an Orb of Power. And you can never complain about too many Orbs of Power and neither will your teammates. And then moving on to the stats I would run for this. For my Warlock in PvP situations, I like to run high recovery high discipline and decently high intellect of course recovery is important because it reduces the cooldown of your class ability and increases the speed at which you're creating lost health which is always important especially if you're really pushy and you need to go around a corner the faster you get health back the better and then discipline is my second most important character stat because discipline decreases the cooldown time of your grenades which means that you can basically get more of them out more often and lastly we have intellect which decreases the cooldown of your super ability which is great any opportunity you have to get your super back faster is always one you want to take and last thing you want to make sure for your weapons is that whatever weapon you're using in your secondary slot it's solar arc strand or void you want to make sure the mod matches up with the ones on all your armor pieces so that you get the best usage of your mods and your weapons so you get the best you know aim assist targeting and all that good stuff but yeah that's basically all there is to my build now let's get into some gameplay so i can show you guys how it works in action but yeah, overall this is a very fun build this is actually my first season maining a warlock i'm usually a hunter main and I've enjoyed this a lot. Like the Solar Slug class on Warlock is just so fun. Just because of how mobile and smooth the gameplay is. So yeah, I'm going to display that for you guys right now. Alright, let's go. I see. This is what Phoenix Dive is. See that radius that pops up. All my allies get cured and I also get healed. Obviously, I didn't get healed because I'm full health. But that's what that does. It's, very, it's pretty fun to use. Ooh, nice hit right there. Go around the corner, do this, heal up, 
He gives me a little bit of health and I start regenerating health pretty quickly because my high recovery. Right. That's a bad grenade throw. <laughs> no one saw that. Did you see I just use he rises? Yeah, I'm floating like that. It's very fun to use. Ah. Uh, it's very hard to shoot snipe snipers with it though. I have to get used to that still. Ooh, the Chris Dash around the corner. Nice. Give me some health with Phoenix Dive. Let's go. You saw that? My Celestial Fire just did like half his health before he could even get around the corner, which is great. You can, ult you can basically pre fire it if you know they're coming. Very fun news. Heat rises. Yeah, I still gotta practice that. I'll get good at it someday. But yeah, a lot of people hate in this map. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, and 6v6 is okay, but 3v3s is so bad. But I kind of enjoy it in like game modes like Iron Banner and everything. Yeah, basically this build, you can just be airborne for so long, which is so fun. This way. Aw, oh, damn. No, but yeah, you definitely get used to the gliding more. Like, it's easy to shoot primaries and everything. Just shooting the sniper is kind of hard sometimes. Are we at Dawnblade? I'm gonna go around this way. Up here. Bro, are you serious Damn. right yeah, now, bro? Oh, yeah, Riptide, actually. Yeah, but yeah, I usually run well instead of Dawnblade. Because I feel like you die in Dawnblade so easily. But I usually like to run well more. That was a pretty good kill right there. Oh, sniper. Let's give all my teammates this. Here are them all, just in case, before we go into the big fight. Let's kill. Oh, my teammate blocked my grenade. My nice super. Never mind, he missed. What's that guy doing? Nice shot, nice shot. I bodied him, but <laughs> I got him with the fusion, so we're good. Ooh, he's sniping. Yeah, Baker's Dash is so fun to do in the air. Like, especially when you peek with the sniper like this, you can just like dodge away. Great, especially since Heat Rides give you gives you an additional dodge with Icarus Dash, which is very fun. Let the wolves rest. Bodied. Finally, a Dawn Blade worked good for me for once. Oh, did not even Bruh. see that guy. I thought he killed everybody. It was a very close game, 99 to 105. I top of leaderboards right now, though. Bodied him. But shooting the air feels so weird, but it's pretty fun. Like, even if I only body them, I mean, it's still good to get that damage in. Risky. Oh, God. Let's get out of here. Phoenix dive, heal up, boom, full health, that quick. Oh, but I'm dead like that. <laughs> See if I can get this guy. Oh, he's using a fusion. Uh, you don't even need to build if he's a fusion. What did he say? Hey. I get a cool sniper right here. Here we go. No, but I feel like this is the most warlock build ever, just because like how much you can glide around, it's just so fun. For all these guys, you flip spawns like that. Damn. Come in, teammates. Wait up. Ooh, there we go. Got a decent snipe right there. Oh my gosh, I was frozen for so long. Fill up. Overall, very good game showcasing the build. I feel like I got to do everything I wanted to show. Nice, nice. Yeah, that was very fun. We'll see how I did. 18 opponents defeated 1.64. Decent. It was a quick game. Iron, this Iron Banner game mode is pretty quick, but it was very fun. But yeah, I hope you guys got really see the build and see how good it works with everything. Yeah, but overall, it's a very fun build to use. I never complain when using it. You just feel like such a mobile warlock and you're able to have high recovery, get health regeneration, be able to help your teammates, cure them, be able to glide in the air and fight. It's just so much fun that you can't go wrong with this build. Trust me on that. But yeah, guys, that's going to be my solar warlock 
build video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll give you one last look at everything. Uh, we have Phoenix Dive, Burst Glide, Celestial Fire, Solar Grenade, Icarus Dash, Heat Rises, Ember of Solus, Ember of Torches, Ember of Eruption, and Ember of Beams. Those are the quick run through it again, just in case you guys forgot. Just so you guys don't have to go back to the start of the video. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is my favorite build for Warlock. I would definitely suggest you guys try this out and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. So yeah, to end of this video, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hope this helps a lot. And if it does, feel free to leave a like and a comment if you have any suggestions about another build you want in the future. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more future content. And if you enjoyed this video a lot and make sure to share with your friends of course all love is appreciated and until next time peace